guys welcome to my channel today episode i'm going to talk about how you can succeed in farming and make a big profit so before i continue if you are not subscribed into my channel please do it click that subscription button below turn on the notification button so that whenever i upload a video you are not going to miss it but you are going to be informed so the first thing that you need to understand if you want to succeed in uh, farming and uh, you must ask yourself this question am i doing farming because my neighbor is doing am i doing farming because i want to provide food for my family am i doing farming because i want to earn a living in it so ask yourself those three questions before you proceed after you ask yourself those three questions now the second uh, thing that you are supposed to do is um, analyze the market it is very important that you analyze the market where you are selling or where you are going you are planning to sell your products from the farm into why analyze the market it is very important that you analyze the market so that you can know what are the qualities of the product that your competitors are bringing into the market are they the same with the quality of the product that you have are they the same with with what you are they the same of the products that you usually sell them or if you have not started selling maybe you are planning to start a farm are they products that you will you you really want to bring into the market? Why analyze the competitors in the market? It is very important to analyze the competitors in the market so that you can know how you yourself you are going to meddle into it and stand out to be a very high competitor in that market so that you understand the quality of those products and what they are missing so that you you now bring that you put the quality of the product that you're going to bring or uh, that you have you add value into what you are usually bring what you usually bring so that it can outstand those in the uh, those of the competitors the other thing that is important when you do the marketing analysis you understand the prices very well so that you decide now are you going to sell be selling your product to the middlemen people in the farm or are you going to bring your product directly into the market so if you're going to if you have been uh, if you are routinely uh, selling your products to the middle people so that they can bring to the market compare the prices that you you will fetch if you bring direct to the market and when you sell on the farm so that because uh, you are going to incur the cost of transportation if you are going to start bringing your products from the farm to the market so if you are going to, if after calculation of bringing your product into the market uh, you are still going to get higher profit than when you sell them on the market now start bringing them into you will now have a chance of starting now planning to how you can be bringing your product into the market um, if you calculate and then you find that still if you are going to bring them directly to the market you are not going to get a big difference or you are not going to get any difference of when you sell into the uh, when you sell on the farm i i advise you to continue selling on the farm okay after you have analyzed the market uh the, those are competitors and then the distance from uh, the cost and the profit that you are going to get if you sell on the farm or if you sell direct into the market the other thing is to analyze the consumers if you are able you can even ask uh, the those uh, the customers because when you go to the market you'll find that people different people are there buying the products on the market so you can even ask 
these people, these consumers who are buying this product from the market, what they prefer, what they will prefer to be add on, how they prefer to be grading on, if let's say it's tomatoes, how, how do they want them to be grade? What should be added? How will they want to be? To be how will what do they really want so that because these people are the ones who are going to uh, consume the product so the we they usually say that customer is always right because if you don't maintain the quality that the customers are, uh, uh, need they are going to run away to other people so you can have a discussion with them so that you can understand what these people really like and what these people don't like. So that before you start a farming, you are able to understand what is required in the market, what, what the customer don't like, so that you add value into your product that you are going to produce in the farm. So after analyzing the market, you have understood, you have understood the the competitors, you have understood the customers, you have understood the transportation. Now the other important thing that you now go is now start farming or if you have if you have never started farming. And then if you are someone who is uh, who has been farming, it is now uh, your step now to to improve on what you have been doing in the farm and to add more value on the product. So, uh, because now, you know, market analysis is very important in farming and each and every, even if you are doing business of non-consumption products, it is important that you understand the market because you cannot start uh, a business without understanding the market, what people want, what are your competitors, what is the cost of the transportation? How is the situation there? Because you, are, you, you, you cannot start any business if you don't understand the people who buy these things. Because you can start a business and then add, yeah, maybe there is no market. So you will go into a loss. So you have understood the market, what these people want, what your competitors have in hand, what you are going to bring different in the market in every business it is important that you come in and be unique in your own way so that you can have customers so also farming is a business so if you let's say maybe if you're doing the only for production for 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 your family of which it is not good because you are going to buy the seed you are going to buy fertilizer if you are going to apply fertilizer you are going to uh to to weed so for me i advise people to do farming to look farming as a way of uh, investment as a way of business so it is uh, a crucial uh, it is vital that you know what you want now uh, what you are going to farm in your farm, what you are going to produce now in your farm, uh, uh, so that you, you don't go to an extent that you are going to produce uh, crops which no one will buy in the market. You are not going to, so that you don't produce the vegetables that are flooded in the market, to produce fruits that are flooded in the market. So, uh, so market analysis is so important because you are going to know which uh, fruits do people lack in the market? Which quality do they want? Which vegetables are lacking in the market? Which quality do they want? So that when you are putting money in the farm, you know that by the end of this, I'm going to harvest a lot of money. So if you follow these procedures and steps, you're going to succeed in doing the farming in terms of business, and get that huge profit that is going to excite you and give you the morale of continuing farming and farming.